Yes, stupidity can kill. Today I'm angry, frustrated at what I see as intentional stupidity in our world that literally kills people. Hello, and welcome to the Daily Atheist, Quickie with the Skeptic Edition, Episode 3. Hi, my name is Chris. Show me some love. Thumbs up, share, like, subscribe, ring that little notification bell. You know what to do. Now, on with the show. A 13-year-old boy named Edgar Lopez died in August of 2014. Not because his parents followed the advice of an herbalist and stopped giving their son his insulin. No. It was because... When their son got sick from not taking the insulin, they continued consulting the herbalist, who continued to tell them not to give their son his medicine and to not take him to the doctor. Surely this is a clear case of murder, right? On the part of the herbalist? This guy is 84 years old. He is going to spend the rest of his life in prison, right? Or at least, at the very least, he's not going to be able to continue to spread his nutbaggery. Am I right? Nope. And how is it not murder for the parents who continued to follow his advice despite having experience with the medicine and knowing the effect of not taking it? He was on insulin, so they had to have at least once have gone to the doctor, been given instructions, and knew how to administer his medicine, and certainly should have known the effect he would go through if he didn't take it. Let's go over this article from the Washington Post. Here's the herbalist describing in his own words how he feels about insulin. Obviously, this was recorded before the incident, but it clearly shows his belief in that insulin is bad, poison even. Insulin is very poison to the system. Even medicine tells you that insulin makes you, all the organs of the body three times older than the body is. Yet and still, there's all kinds of herbs out there that is natural insulin watermelon is natural insulin okay so that's his take on insulin pretty loony if you ask me now i realize the parents probably don't have a very good education and they don't speak english but i find it difficult to believe that they believed him when he said it was poison and that their child would get killed at the hospital that's just stupid it's ridiculous read that as worthy of ridicule not only to make such a claim, but that anyone would believe it. Also, further down in the article, <clears throat> the father says that Morrow told them the for-profit American health care system benefited from making sure people stayed sick. So which is it? Do they kill people or do they keep them sick? Admittedly, you don't make nearly as much on a dead 13-year-old as you do with one who has a chronic, possibly debilitating disease. Those are cash cows. You don't kill those off. So I still lay a lot of the blame on the parents. They were willfully ignorant and stupid and it got their kid killed. I'm sorry for, for Edgar Lopez. I'm, I'm sorry your parents fell for this charlatan. They literally turned away from the only real magic that could have saved their son, modern medical science. Despite all its successes, and tried two different types of nutbaggery, essential oils, and prayer, and watched their child die. But here's what really gets me. This jackass essentially murders this little boy, and prosecutors charge him with one count of practicing medicine without a license, and one count of child abuse causing death, which at the time of the charges were brought, could lead to a maximum of two years in jail. Hmm. Well, we found out this week that after his sentencing that he only gets four months behind bars and four years probation and if any other person dies listening to his nutbaggery he may be charged with murder what the hell talk about a slap on the wrist that man should never breathe free air again let alone be allowed to continue to push his nutbaggery he is literally a danger to society Edgar Lopez will never grow up, never graduate high school, never get married, never have children. His entire life has been taken from him by this man and his nutbaggery. Yet Mr. Morrow gets to carry on hawking his snake oil to the ignorant for money, putting other innocent and ignorant lives at risk 
for the almighty dollar. The American way, I suppose. This is what happens when poorly educated, unscrupulous people are allowed to do whatever nutbaggery they want to other poorly educated and clearly irresponsible people. And you know, those parents were praying their asses off, hoping Jesus would step in and save their child. They even claim that Morrow called his cure God's insulin. Right? So, you know, why didn't they actually use the real insulin that really worked? If you don't know how to science, you shouldn't be allowed to claim you do. If your medicine is not science or backed up by science, you should not be allowed to claim that it is or that it's better. Four months of jail time and probation for killing a child, combined with the fact that this guy doesn't even get his business shut down. His videos are still up on YouTube as of this recording. Essentially broadcasting to all other charlatans out there that even if the worst case scenario happens, worst case, if your nutbaggery kills a little kid, don't worry about it. You'll still be able to make a living. You'll have to go through some jail and a little bit of legal troubles, but you'll get away with it. It's okay. That's worst case. What happens, you know, if it just causes minor problems, the rash or, you know, these people are just going to get away with all kinds of stuff. Doesn't matter. I mean, sure. Why not? If you can kill a kid and only get four months. That's, that's the signal that these people are showing out. I find it personally disgusting. It's just wrong. Do you agree with me or no? What do you think about essential oils and their application in the in the today's modern medicine? I, you know, I, I get some things. That I'm going to make a whole video about tree bark aspirin. Another video on the healing properties of marijuana. They're they're both possible and powerful. You know, there's a lot of things that are possible out there. But whenever you've got something, and it's especially something dire and important like this, your own child is sitting here dying, take them to the doctor. Let medicine do its work, you know. Um, the, or if they don't, they should pay the price. They should be set as an example to other parents what happens to you if you let your kid die. These kind of things. Do you disagree? Agree? What are your thoughts on it? Leave me some hate down in the comments. Don't really leave me some hate. Uh, but, um, yeah, let me know what you think. And I'm going to try to learn a little bit more about it over time. I've been really busy. Uh, essential oils is not really my bag. I don't put a lot of mental effort into it. Um, I'm going to do some research on the interwebs and consult uh, fellow skeptics. Another one, though, one of his name, uh, the genetically modified skeptic. He is, or was in the beginning, quite big on uh, essential oils and their applications and their nutbaggery. So I'm going to look into his stuff and get some more advice. You might, I'm going to put a link down to his channel uh, in below and you can check out his stuff and see what you think. Let me know what you think. Comment, thumbs up, subscribe, hit that little notification bell. Thank you very much for your time. Have a great day.